Hey what is up guys, I'm Reza Sane from Team AA and today I will be reviewing the OnePlus 6T. It has been a while since the OnePlus 6T has been launched and I thought of reviewing it on my channel and I've got the glossy black one, it looks really nice though. So OnePlus 6T is launched after the OnePlus 6 and it is a bit of an improvement, not a big one but still worth it. So you can see the in-display fingerprint sensor coming in and kicking into things and it is pretty fast and accurate just like the Mate 20 Pro and it is really really like fast and it is really accurate as well as the face unlock is pretty fast and the fastest you will ever see but it is obviously not as secure you've got the same ejection tool as well as the uh, mute switch as well as the power key on the right and left side of the phone respectively content viewing is really good because of two dual tone speakers on the back of the phone as well as the usb type c port as well as the dash charging available but still you don't have the wireless charging in the oneplus 60 which is a bit of a bummer the content viewing is really good because of the optic amoled display and really like the sharpness of the display still it is a 1080p panel but still it is worth it and you also got some picture modes to tone up the saturation as well as the hue of the phone you've got a water droplet notch on the front which looks pretty dope and it is the best implementation of the notch you can get you can also hide the notch if you don't want it and if it looks really nice when hidden as well the oxygen os is the fastest os i have ever seen in my life the android navigation features have also been kicked in into this one and android pie is already inside this phone you can swipe left to switch between apps as well as swipe right to switch between apps you can swipe down to close any app which is pretty nice Android Pie has also got some new features and UI changes for the OnePlus 6T, just like the black and white mode which increases a bit of a battery performance and you can also get a bit of a GPU acceleration in the Android Pie. You've also got the always on display of OnePlus 60 and it can be customizable. It will show you some sort of notifications as well as uh, your email messages and some reminders. On the back you've got a 16 megapixel as well as a 20 megapixel f1.7 aperture and 4K 60fps recording with OIS plus EIS. The night mode photography was really really good with a lot of details and really good sharpness and the dynamic range was really good. The front camera is as good as the night one if not bad and it can also get some bokeh shots which is pretty accurate. In daylight OnePlus 60 kept a lot of dynamic range and in night mode if you turn out the nightscape it can do wonders just look at this beautiful looking pictures and look at the detailing in the clouds it's th still not as good as the pixel one but still it's good in the video front you can see a lot good of a lot of good of stabilization work there and it is the really best video i have ever seen from a oneplus phone so dash charging is here and you can expect also the gpu performance is really good from the oneplus 60 because of the snapdragon 845 and it takes about 35 minutes to 37 minutes to charge up to 60 percent which is insanely fast and it gets a lot of screen on time in design changes i have no regrets with the oneplus 60 as it is one of the most beautiful looking devices i have ever seen and with the addition of night mode and also the dark view of the oneplus 6 oxygen os it's really good to see it it scores 294,200 on and to do and it also scores a lot of score in the geekbench results which is pretty nice the gaming is also really fine you can expect smooth gaming and ultra good uh, fps because of the snapdragon 845 gigs of 8. You can get the OnePlus 60 with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage in the US for $549. So this was it for the video. This is Aurelius from Team AA and I'm signing out. Peace out.